Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's Jean Watts. I am in Asheville right now. Like I filmed this video in like two parts. I'm I filmed the inner work video and I had to like pack and like now I'm at my dad's house in Asheville. Starting off with the sponsor of this video, which is this amazing company that I've been hearing about for a very, very long time. So I'm pretty stoked to do a sponsor deal with them and it's Ritual Vitamins. I'm gonna be talking about the essential for women, the 18 plus. I also take their probiotics. I It's a prebiotic, probiotic and a postbiotic. I have been trying to educate myself a ton on that, so I love this too. But again, I'm gonna start talking about this. So this brand is really cool because Kat is the founder of Ritual and the way she kind of started this company is she was pregnant for the first time and she wanted to make sure she wasn't putting any toxic anything in her body, on her body, anything like that. So she started learning more about ingredients and went through everything and turned her house upside down and found out it was really, really hard to find products, vitamins, all that stuff that was not toxic or didn't have suspect ingredients in there. So this badass bitch, she decided to start her own vitamin company where all of the vitamins are high key ingredients. You know exactly where they came from. It's clinically tested by universities. It's, it's, it's non-GMO verified, vegan, USP verified and yeah, it's awesome. And what's really cool about them is that they, on, let me show you. So like the capsules are like, like that. So it's like a slow release capsule. And the reason why they did that is because it's designed to release later into your intestines. So it will, it, and it will dissolve into your small intestines, which I didn't know this, but that's like the key place for your body to absorb the most nutrients is in your slow, in, in your small intestines. So it's also like a slow release capsule, which is awesome. Gonna take mine for today, actually. Mm. And it's got like, like a minty, taste to it, so that's awesome. I hate the taste of vitamins. I'm gonna take the probiotic too. So yeah, it's a trusted company where you know that the person who designed this and everything, it's coming from the heart. It's all traceable ingredients, high quality vitamins. We love that, health is wealth. So yeah, so if you guys wanna try them, Start your ritual that you love. Go to ritual.com slash Jean Watts and you get 20% off your first month. So I will link everything below and yeah. So, okay. Now to the inner work. I just got on crying because I just saw this beautiful TikTok about this guy who like tests people to see if they're gonna help him out for like a dollar and like what they do and in return he gives them like five hundred dollars like oh, love that shit. Anyways, <laughs> this is the third episode of how to do your inner work, pretending like I know what I'm doing. Um, so just another video of me rambling, but I thought about what I wanted this to be about and something that I'm working on with myself and that I'm realizing and like really diving into, I'm gonna share it with you guys. This might be obvious for some of y'all, but for me it's not, but it's about discipline. And I'm realizing like more and more in life by the way, I also have really bad um, allergies. So if I sound like crap, that's why. But I've been thinking about it and I feel like w the top three, if not two most important things that you can learn in your life is discipline. Like you think about in every aspect, like God gave us free will, so it's discipline. Everything in life is balance. Everything in life is balance. If you think about that, it's wild. 
and hopefully it can help you understand a little more about life and how to manage it. So if you understand that you need balance, you have to have discipline. And that means doing all the things that you don't want to do, but is be the best for you. The other thing about it is like the balance is also the self-love aspect. And I'm like really in my own self-love journey right now. That, that was something that I've never had. And I never allowed myself to have that or other people have never allowed me to have that. Like whatever, it's my own journey. And, and one of the things that's helping me through that is discipline. I never grew up having a lot of discipline. So I learned the very hard, long way. The discipline is a great thing. And I had someone comment before about, so people think self-love is being conceited or thinking that you're better than anybody else. And that's not self-love. That's actually um, a massive form of insecurity. Self-love is learning how to nurture yourself, how to take care of yourself, um, how to heal yourself and my response to that uh, th so this girl thought that she's like I think it's better to to service other people or to care for others more than yourself and my answer to that is you cannot give to others if you're not good with yourself I've been that way like people think I have all my shit together or whatever and I love helping people. I love being there for people. I love like f***ing seeing people when I love it. I don't care who you are, but I can't get that way if I'm not good with myself. When I'm not good with myself, I can't help anybody. So by the way, I, for some reason, I'm like fidgeting with a lighter and a pig. And it kind of goes in with the last, the last video I did, which is about meditation. It's like, I'm with you like here I'm doing like a video about meditation my last video and it's something still like there's times where I'm like I need to meditate I'm losing my mind I'm getting stressed out I'm getting out of my head I'm not centered whatever I need to meditate it's doing that discipline of okay I'm separating from my phone I'm separating from anything I'm taking the time for myself I'm gonna meditate I'm gonna recenter myself because I know that's what's best for me. And that's fing awesome. And that's life changing. And when you do any of those things that makes your life better, you're paving a way to a much happier life. And I was just talking to my mom about that too. Like, living an easy life does not mean you're living a happy life. If you're doing everything you want to do and it's the easiest route, like, you don't wanna work out, you don't wanna meditate, you don't wanna stop stalking online or you don't want to scroll or drink or stop eating these terrible foods whatever it is you don't want to stop doing it because it's something that you want to do it's easier to do those things that doesn't mean you're living a happy life having the balance again going back with balance half of your day is doing things you want to do and the other half of it are things you don't want to do but it's gonna make your life better. That is the perfect, perfect formula for a happy life. So just whatever it is, you'll know what's best for you. Just do it, do it. Read those books, start working out, start waking up earlier, stop binge eating, stop scrolling so long, put a timer on how long you're on the phone, set time, make to meditate, make a, ritual in the morning for yourself that grounds you every day you wake up take better care of yourself take those vitamins do your skincare whatever it is to make you feel good internally physically anything and the happier you live the happier you can make other people happy and that's also going to dive me into the fact that we are all connected all of us are connected the happier you get to live the happier i get to live the happier others get to live it's just I can get so deep into that, but we are all connected. So the more happier people, the better world we live in. I need it. The other people, we all need you to do what's best for you. And I'm trying to do my part too. Like I used to never, I would just stand in my own way about shit. Like I would know I would have to practice and like I wouldn't practice. I would know I'd have to work out and I wouldn't work out. Whatever it is, I would do it. I just wouldn't do it. And because I wouldn't do it, I would then make myself feel like shit that I wasn't doing it. And now you have 
that's what's hard to have self-love for because you're not respecting yourself another example is like my boyfriend has ocd when it comes to the house that we live in and i love that but so when he's home i will clean for him because i know that he just likes the space to be clean right but when i'm by myself i live in much more clutter i'm not cleaning up as much and i hate that it's like why am i respecting him more than i'm respecting myself or why can't i respect myself enough to have my stuff clean when i wake up in the morning i make my bed and do all that stuff so once i kind of acknowledge that now i make it a point it's like i make sure my my space is clean i'll make myself a good breakfast now i'll wake up earlier to read spend some time to focus i will monitor when i'm on my phone i will meditate whatever it is it could be a little exhausting but if you're exhausted from life still push through and just do those things because you're gonna feel better and you're gonna feel lighter and then life is gonna get better so these are things that i'm working on so i'm passing that along this is something that we can both work on which is discipline and also with discipline doing the right thing focus on yourself but always do right by others and because what you put out in the world you get back I don't know if this is gonna, I don't know if this is gonna get off topic, but I see a lot of people who are stingy, especially like in business and stuff like that. For some reason, some people operate on such a negative spectrum. Even when you're doing business together, it's like, why is there like a weirdness between us when we're doing business together or whatever it is? Or other girls you'll talk to, like there's always this like barrier or, you know, it's obviously everything that someone else is going through, but this is kind of off topic, but not really, actually, it's not. Because it does go back with discipline. Everything, it's like, in every aspect, it's, it's discipline. But oh, pushing yourself to open up your heart. Discipline yourself to open up your heart. Time, times are really tough right now. And they, or whatever, let's just think of like they as just like negative energy altogether. Like, we're just getting slammed in the face with, so much negativity there is so much wild going on the train derailment everyone i hope you're paying attention to all that please all this stuff that's going on it's almost impossible to be happy and to feel chipper and to open your heart to others fight through it though open up your heart still do right by others still love people that person that triggers you push love onto them just you don't have to talk to them but love ya, setting boundaries for myself, that's discipline. Choosing the right things, choosing love. And when you do that, even when it's hard, it's hard, but even when you do it, when you open up your heart, you get so much of it back. And uh, I can say so much about that, but again, every time I do these videos, I feel like I'm just rambling, but we are heading to a better world. I know it sound I know it's getting it's gonna get ugly. There's some nasty stuff coming out. Like think of it this way, like when you detox, it's like all this nasty stuff that comes up and it's just like getting out of the system. It's that's kind of like what's happening. Like we are as whatever, I'm gonna say it. If you think I'm crazy, whatever. This is actually really exciting. It's exciting to me, but we are reaching we are in a new phase of life. And everybody is ascending to a higher dimension we are becoming more spiritual beings we're becoming more aware we are feeling more connected like me doing these videos it's just like a small example of just like the people you guys that watch this like this is stuff that i love and you guys watch it and you guys are connecting with it and you guys are telling me that it's better like this is happening everywhere like everybody is connecting with each other we feel something more and that is massive so because we are elevating and we are just reaching different times the way that life has been structured that we've all known is just crumbling it's just it's not working anymore god my allergies is driving me nuts <laughs> but it's not working anymore and uh so things are gonna get ugly and you know if there is such thing as a they, they're trying to make us think that things are bad. It's the end of the world. 
uh, there's no point to anything anymore. It's, it's trying to make us lose all hope and to get distracted. And let this be a reminder that is not happening. It's actually the opposite. We are all ascending. We are all like just becoming better people. We're learning that oh, that's another thing. Whatever. I'm not going to get into that, but life's getting better. It's going to be a couple more years of this stuff. So hang in there. So in the meantime, do your inner work. Just do your inner work. That's the best thing that you can do. Stay aware, but do your inner work. Because again, everything is connected. And the more that we work on ourselves and we operate on love and we don't let this shit like weigh on us anymore. We don't get triggered by shit anymore. We know how to heal ourselves. We know how to handle ourselves. We, When you do that, you connect with the right people you'll find the right one you'll make the right friends like you'll have the right opportunities and things will start flowing so the more people that can get in the flow the better so be the best you can be you're living anyways you're you're spending the time on the planet anyways just push through step by step day by day make a schedule the night before you go to bed like something I'm working on because I feel like I'm doing like a million things at once and I have ADD <laughs> but the night before I kind of like I don't check my phone I'll like monitor my mind of like how I'm expecting the next day to go and the best case scenario and I do the play by play like I get up I do this blah 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 next thing and that's a great way to manifest and to prepare your brain like you're gonna have a really good day the next day and have that morning ritual of what, what you do that's for yourself, no matter if you have a job, or if you have a family, wake up earlier. Set that time for yourself. You are your own best friend. You gotta be good with yourself. So set that time away and it will just start the rest. Something I'm gonna try to work on, like I did it in one moment of my life and I kind of fell off. So I'm trying to get back to it. I wanna start waking up i would love to start doing cold plunges if i'm on cold plunge energy guys like i'm killing it i'm just not there yet but i want to wake up earlier and i used to just get up get up go outside read recenter don't check your phone and then i want to get up and like go to yoga and like to sweat i used to run and i just kind of stopped doing that especially since it started getting colder but i think there's something about getting up and just moving that's uh, really beneficial and it sets the tone for the rest of the day. Whatever, discipline. We'll never find the day where we're gonna want to, so let's just do it and stick with it.